everyone, welcome to my channel and today we're going to be looking at some gifts uh, that you may want to buy for yourself, have bought for you or to buy for someone else this Christmas. And I'm going to be going through quite a few which I mentioned last year, which I have found to be worth having and so therefore I would doubly recommend them, as well as quite a few which are new to me this year too. Uh, and I hope that I can genuinely say I recommend everything that I'm about to mention as being something that is definitely worth adding to your studio. So where do I start? I think we'll get the Kuretake colours out of the way, but I do want to mention these. This is a new box of Kuretake uh, Art Nouveau colours, which I use a lot, and I also use the regular 48 set too. As you know, I'll put uh, links to all of these um, items in the description below the video. So if you want to buy them, please go there, use our link, and we will benefit from that slightly without any cost to you. But these paints are very nice for painting flowers. They're pretty good for anything. The colors all go together, so you can't really, you don't need to worry about things not being harmonious because all the colors here in this particular set you can use them and in fact even in this set here the one that we use every single day practically um, they really do work well together they play well together as they say so i recommend them talking about paints let's go on to viviva um, viviva were the first people that um, sponsored us actually and sent us some of their new products and um, this is a pan set of colors which i have used quite a bit I like the Viviva colours because they are very pungent and strong. They come in this format, in a little cork um, palette holder thing, or they come like this in a uh, little folder like that, um, which is great if you're looking for something that you can take with you in your handbag or something that's not going to weigh anything. Um, so you can paint when you're sitting in the car waiting for your husband or something. Um, and they also have this sketchbook, which is nice. Um, I'll just do a quick flip. This is from 2021, this one. I don't know what's in it. Nothing much, but, you know, it's, it's a nice sketchbook. It works really well. Um, I like the paper. It's nice and smooth. It works well for drawing or for painting. So they still have those for sale. And they also have, as well, a another pad which is a, a sketch pad more for drawing rather than um, painting but it works well for painting too as you can see so there's that one that's the a5 sketch pad that they call that a refill i don't know why on their website again all the information in the description below so that you can go there and have a look at uh, the things i'm talking about um okay so that's all of those going over to etcher now for golds and silvers um, this is a little uh, set that they have on their website, which is really nice. It has 12 different golds and they're all very opaque. They give up their colour very quickly. You don't have to spend half an hour activating them when you want to use them. Just put a little bit of water on and pop your uncle. So that's lovely. I really recommend that. I use that quite a lot. Um, it's not the only set of golds that are out there. There are others, and I think I probably mentioned them before. Um, this one is quite good too. Um, the Calero Fine Tech Made in Germany set, this one. You can see I've used that a lot. This one is slower to activate, but that is really the only downside. And obviously there's plenty of paint there, but it's not I don't know, there's not as many colours and this one is probably more um, vibrant or, or opaque or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is um, fine liners from Windsor & Newton. This is different from some of the others that we recommend like uh, this one, the Pigma Micron, which is fine, and this one the Kuretake Fudenosuke Tombow pen, which has got thick and thin lines. But this one is in sepia, so it's a brown colour. And sometimes when you're doing a painting that's not so um, pungent in colour, not so bright, 
uh, you might want to use, if you want to use line, then you might want to use sepia. I think that can be quite useful. And I'm, I'm not sure if it's all that easy to get sepia pen. I, I'm sure it is. But these Winsor & Newton ones are good. So I can recommend those. And while I'm still talking about pens, they also have them in black too. Um, this is a bamboo dip pen from Japan or China. You can get these anywhere online. I always have one of those handy. And what do I use it for mostly? For scratching out lines when I want to do some scratching out on a watercolor um, into wet paint. So, but that's really handy to have, or else you can just go into the garden and get, find yourself a stick. This stick has been with me for a decade now, I think, and uh, it's my favorite stick. So that's that. Um, another tool for doing the same thing also would be the dip pen. And this is just a speedball dip pen, very cheap, really, really inexpensive. You dip it in ink and you can do some wonderful free work or some fine work, depends how you feel. Um, but that one I definitely use a lot. Uh, old fashioned, but works, a bit like me. Um, Poetique brush pens. Poetique sent me a set of 96 of these and I'm so glad that they did because I had them for a few months before I started to use them because I had never used anything like that before. I didn't know what to do with them. I drew a sunflower um, and I thought, well, that was effective and made it into a mug actually because the painting came out so well. And I haven't looked back since. I use them in many of the demonstrations that I do. They, I've got 96 of them, so there's a color for every possible shade. They match up with the um, Kuretake paints, it seems to me, and um, I don't know where I would be without them. Meaden have been wonderful to me this year. They've sent me so much stuff, I've got to buy a bigger studio now. Um, one of the things that everybody seems to quite like is this. It's, a, it's meant to be a water pot, I use it to store things in like that because to me, a water pot, I like them like this. This is obviously a preserving jar, you know, a mason jar or something. I have a couple or three of those lying around and I like them to be separate from each other because this is, it starts to get a bit heavy to be quite honest, but I do like it. It's very stylish and you can put your things in it and um, Bob's your uncle, as we always say. So that's nice, Meaden. Meaden have got loads of stuff on their website. It's all incredibly inexpensive. Um, you need all of it, obviously. Who doesn't? I talk about the paper um, somewhere else in this video. Um, this is their watercolor paint, which is in tubes, this one. It's really good. It's quite cheap. It's perfect. And I have it here in their studio uh, palette, which is a ripoff of the Stephen Quiller one um, with the circle, with the little indents and everything so that you can tell where you're at. Um, these ones at the sides here, you can put them all out in their mixing space in here. And when it gets dirty, you can always clean it with one of these magic sponges very quickly, cleans up with no problem. Nice and bright. Unlike plastic, plastic will also clean with these magic sponges, but um, ceramic is better. On the other hand, though, the disadvantage of this is that it is very heavy, extremely heavy, it weighs about as much as my cat, who is exceptionally heavy. Um, so not everybody wants to use that. So there's their paints as well. You know, can't say much about them except that they are a great starter set. So if you're looking for paints for a gift for somebody, can't do better <coughs> than that, except you could get this one. This is a Paul Rubens set of the same sort of thing. 36 colors in little tubes. They are also very good. They look a little bit more expensive, but I'm not sure that they really are. Um, I've tried these out, I like them, they're great. They won't fade, they mix well, come in a nice box. Um, what more could you want? And then there's these, the Chow Mei watercolors. This is a, another inexpensive set from Paul Rubens. I think these are probably more intended for children or teenagers. You've got all these colors, mixing space here, not really adequate, but it's a start. 
I prefer tubes myself. I don't really like uh, small pans, partly because a lot of the time I use brushes which are bigger than these pans, but you can, you can do it. Um, but that's why I like the Kuretake pans because they're nice and big. This is fine. This is really good for traveling, out, painting outdoors. You know, these pans originally were intended for painting outdoors, not for studio use. That's what they were invented for. I think Winsor and Newton would agree with me on that. People do use them in their homes now, and especially if you work in a small space and you don't have much room, then you might be inclined to work with small pans like that. But if you can possibly go to the Kuretake size pan or the, uh, the idea of tubes like this one, where you squeeze them out into the big palette, like the Stephen Quiller ripoff, um, you will find that your painting will be much freer. Not inexpensive, but free. Um, what next? I think I might have got to the end. Every studio needs a bunch of tape. This is a very nice washi tape set, which you can get on Amazon, link in the description below. It's good because it doesn't tear the paper um, and it gives you a nice clean line if you're painting up to the edge. So that was a trip down memory lane full of great ideas that I discovered last year and have loved using with you in 2023. Now let's see what other goodies I've discovered for you to enjoy in 2024. Starting off with this little uh, box of paints here. These are handmade paints made from um, scratch by Victoria in Germany. It's a collaboration between, her, between me and her. And uh, these are the colours that I chose to go in this set. There's a dozen of them, and these, this is what they look like when they're swatched out. These are very delicate colours, very beautiful, and absolutely perfect for florals. I think you would agree that um, they would work pretty well for painting nature. And uh, so I was quite happy with those, and I've tried them a few times, and the way they've worked out is pretty good. So um, I, they are not what you might call a budget item but um, they're worth it. Each of these, she does, she's does. she got dozens and dozens and dozens of different colors, but this is just the one set that, um, that uh, we put together. And they're all hand poured, handmade, hand mulled, everything. And they've got honey in them instead of chemicals and things like that. So if you want to go and have a look at her website at vhaquarelle.de, it's all in English. It's, uh, and she ships worldwide and it doesn't take very long to get them and uh, everything's great, so you can trust her. She's a lovely person to deal with. And so that's that, the uh, VH Aquarelle Cross X Diane Anton paint set. So we put that down there. And the other thing I want to recommend that you buy for yourself or for anybody else is Mead and Watercolor Paper. Can't really get anything much better than this for this price. They now have hot press, cold press, and rough. So you've got the three different textures and they've got the three different sizes. They've got the five by seven um, inches, the 10 by seven, and the 12 by nine. So that's every size that you could possibly wish for. I just realized I didn't grab one of the smaller ones. This is the smallest size. So we've got the, the three sizes one two three um you can buy them one pad at a time and everything if you go to the meden website and type in at the point of checkout diane 10 you get 10 percent off everything that you buy there and uh, i use this paper all the time at the moment and i think it's very good so i recommend that as a gift for somebody who's starting to paint if you want to make sure that they're painting on good quality paper um, I have to mention this, um, we've got a second edition of this coming out, the first uh, release sold out in a matter of a couple of hours, but this is coming out again in December and you can go to the Craftmo website and um, purchase and they'll send them to you as soon as they're available. It comes in this lovely box, um, we've got six brushes in here, all of which are beautiful, very nicely made, lovely shiny uh, paint so it keeps clean, metal recycled and Taclon hairs. This is a size 14 round and we also have a nine, 
and a four. Slightly longer hairs than normal to give a bit more flex and a bit more freedom in your strokes. And plus there is a cat's tongue, which is a beautiful um, shape for um, painting leaves and petals and other parts of florals. Then we have a mop brush, which is a great free, um, free spirited brush, I would say, and a lovely one inch flat. And I've talked about these at great length in videos running up to the season. So if you want to find out more, just look out for some of my earlier videos. The Christmas ones have all got mention and use of these in them. So, oh, it comes with a print as well. Um, a nine by whatever it is, nine by six print, this painting, and that frames up quite well. So that's, uh, that's that. And then what else have we got to look at? Um, this is my favorite Meaden palette. I think this is my favorite one. It's got these rectangles here and you can put a Kuretake um, paint pan in one of these, which is, works quite well. And then you can use the empty ones for mixing in. If you go to Meaden, like I said, with the paper, they've got a whole load of things on there that's very interesting and make perfect presents. And um, I'm just going to go and get something else to show you from them. So this is another Meaden product. This is a pochard box or a painting box or an easel. Um, and the way this works is you undo this clip at the back here. Oops, sorry, I'm clumsy. And you lift this up, that goes down like that. And then at the back here, you've got this choice of heights and you can just put it like that. And so you've got it at about a 45 degree angle. You can then put your paint block like that and you can paint on it. So if you find it hard to look down onto the paper when you're painting, this is great. And don't worry about it, you know, being on a slope. It doesn't matter. It's not going to make any difference to what happens to the paper, to the paint at all. And so you've got that, the angle there, and then um, it's also got a drawer here and inside. So this is ideal for acrylic painters or oil painters. You can put your brushes and your paints in here and you've got a little mini mini paint uh, palette there as well. So it's all made from German beech wood, very nice quality. And um, yeah, you can, uh, it makes a very good present. And a lot of people find them very useful to take when they go out um, outdoors because it's got a handle you can carry it with you and I wouldn't say it was exactly the lightest thing I've ever come across but yeah it's good quality little easel. Another great idea from Meaden I'm sorry to be stressing out on them at the moment but uh, they are very very good at what they do. Um, this little box here is a um, storage unit and I've begun to label my drawers um, because otherwise I can't remember what's in them. And in this one, I've got my Conte pencils and my pastel pencils. And uh, in here, for example, we have fine liners of various different sorts. I do keep a lot of my things out as well, as you can see, the ones that I need to be able to grab instantly, so to speak. But, you know, I've got more stuff here than I need and I uh, can even put your washi tape in there. That's quite good. Um, and it's quite nice. It's tidy and it sits on the corner of the desk and it's not all that expensive, actually. And you can get them either one set of five or you can get two sets. And that's fixed to the one is fixed to the other with a little peg so they don't fall off. So that's quite nice as well. Last year, I came across this book, 365 Days of Art in Nature, and I have been working my way through it. I've done quite a lot of the projects, pretty much all of them um, going through. I have participated in up to, I haven't got quite to the end of it yet. I think I'm sort of around about here. Uh, yeah, I think that was the last thing I did. And this is just, just a really nice way of warming up when you... Um, start to paint in the afternoon or whenever it is that you get round to it and you don't know quite what to do. You can open this up and um, get an idea of what 
what you I didn't, don't think I finished that one um, of something to do still quite a few ideas in the back there but there's another one she's got several of these this is by Lorna Scobie this is I think the first one that came out and I just recently bought this as well I always buy them second hand so when you buy them second hand there's often one or two pages have been used but actually in this one it's hardly been touched luckily hardly been touched I don't think anyone's done anything in here at all apart from Lorna herself um, so yeah this isn't necessarily only nature it's all sorts of things so lots of lots of ideas for things to do and just to get you started you know when you come to paint each day if you do paint every day and um, another thing that I have found this year is this sketchbook which is by a company called String and Space and it's a ring bound sketchbook with 40 sheets of 200 grams paper in it which is actually really nice for painting on. These are various sketches and doodles and paintings that I've done on it and it's yeah it's really nice paper actually. It's smooth, it's like cartridge paper it's not um, not got the same texture as rough or cold press, but it's it's slightly more textured than hot press, although not much. And it's a bit thinner than the Meaden, um, but it is in this format, which is nice if you like to use a sketchbook and keep everything together. That is a good one. And the other one that I like too, which um, I found this year as well and have recommended and would still recommend is the Canson XL uh, mixed media book. This has got quite thick paper in it. Um, sorry, what does it say here? It tells you somewhere. Um, I think it's 240, no, wait a minute. Uh, well, anyway, it's thick. It's, it's the same as this, it's at least 300 grams. And yeah, you can see it's very thick and it's lovely to paint on. So is that, the string and space, but this has got texture. Um, not sure if you can see here. You can see it's got a, um, a, a grain going this way. And so that's, that's quite nice to paint on as well. And you can get good effects on this with watercolor and acrylic or whatever you want to paint in. This is a few paintings I did this autumn. Yes, gosh, when you look back, you think, my goodness me, I've done a lot. But uh, yeah, just recently I haven't been doing anything in there. I've been using the Meaden sheets more, but recommend that, definitely. What else? Um, I think the last thing I want to talk about Today is just quickly the Artistro white paint pens, which um, I think are probably the most successful white pens that I've come across. We've used lots of different ones over the last little while. Um, and I can't try it because this is a brand new one and I haven't started it yet, but you give it a good shake and it will work. Um, they're very inexpensive. This is the 0 0.9, I think, 0.7, sorry, uh, Artistro extra fine tip and they call them white paint pens. Um, don't think they're very dear at all. They're actually quite reasonable and you can use them on, as it says here, rock, ceramic, metal, wood, porcelain, fabric, glass, stone, paper and more. And uh, yeah, I've been using that quite a lot, which is probably one of the reasons why I can't find it at the moment. I don't know what I've done with it. Anyway, so there we are, my recommendations for this year at the moment for your Christmas shopping. Links for all these products are in the description below the video and also you'll find them in my Amazon shop where you'll find all these and many more ideas. So check back often as I'm always adding new things. Don't forget though, as well as Amazon, you can get 10% off Meaden products if you go to the meaden.com, meadenart.com website and you put in Diane 10, you'll get 10% off of your whole order. And plus, of course, don't forget, um, on our website, we have our range of um, custom printed mugs and other products, which you can still order up to the middle of December in time for Christmas. So if you want to support us that way, that's also great. And we've just put up a new mug too. 
which matches the craft mode brush box. So how about that? I will let you go now and I hope you have a lovely time Christmas shopping this year. I haven't even started mine yet, but I did make the Christmas puddings today. So bye bye for now then everybody and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>